Hey guys, my name is Drexler. In this video, I will show you how to create a reverse shell through an open source rootkit available in GitHub known as Reptile Rootkit. This is the page from the repository where we can clone it. Um, this rootkit was tested on this operative system. I'm going to create two virtual machines with this Ubuntu 18.04.1 LTS version. This rootkit gives us these features and this is the process how to install the, the rootkit. Uh, I got some some considerations before I start because uh, there are some things that we have to do in the victim and another ones in and other ones in the attack machine. So um, these four lines are the same for both machines. And this command is just for the victim, and this command is just for the attack machine. So let's get started. Okay, guys, uh, I already have the two virtual machines. On the left, it's the attack machine, and on the right, it's the victim machine. Uh, there are some some files that we should check before it start. Okay, it's in this tile okay and use this command okay it will show you as a screen with the configuration from this grid kit okay this this file should be the same with the same values in the attack and the victim machines okay as we can see we have some these values we should save it okay uh, in this option i won't do it because i already have it okay then exit and don't save okay. okay then when we save the file document in both machines um for the victim we have to execute make and make install in this directory to install the rootkit successfully okay then in the attack machine we should get in into the um, reptile directory okay then in this point we have to use this this command but i already did it to generate this directory over here okay so let's get in and then we should use this this command to execute the client in the attack machine okay uh, we execute it we can type help to see the comments this part we have to set the values for make the connection from the uh, from the attack machine to the victim machine. We can use this command to see the whole configuration and all seems to be okay. Then I have to execute the next command run. Okay. If it's appeared these, these letters, um, the connection works successfully with the host. As we can see, the IP address from the victim is the same. Now we can use type help to see the comment. In this case, I'm going to make a reverse shell in this case. Okay. I we can see the the name of the of the victim here. It's the same like this. Okay. We can get in into the the stop from the victim machine. Uh, okay. Oh. This. Not there. We have the same things over here and over here. Okay. Let's go into the desktop. Desktop. Okay. The here it's a, a document uh, that says rootkit.txt. 
and this file it's empty so from the attack machine I I can words nano So if I check again the document in the victim, there is the message. So that's it. Thanks for watching.